Here's a quick overview on how to adjust your availability for your one-to-one -one classes. Please note that as of today, which we are in March 2024, you have to update your availability for each class individually, which I know can be a pain if you have to visit multiple classes. So what you wanna do is click on the class that you want to edit, click on Update Availability, and then you will see your calendar here of all of your availability. Before we get to that, I just wanna bring you down here to the bottom where you can set some defaults. So how much notice a parent needs to give you, how many days into the future can they book you, how much time between classes, and what increments. So for five minute increments, that means like nine, 905, 910, things like that. If you're ever unsure what some of these mean, you can always hover over these little question marks right here and it provides you with some more information. Down here is how you can create a private link time, which is if you wanna send something just to an individual person that you don't wanna be available for the general public. I will put a link to a video where I went over how to do that. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your availability and you can set your availability in one of two ways. One, you can set it for a specific date or two, you can set it for a recurring thing for all of a specific day. So you can see this little icon right here that means that I've set all of my Mondays to be the same. So to do that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you click on the day, even if it's blank, and you'll click edit all Mondays. So this will edit all of your Mondays, and then you can set your hours. So let's say I wanna do um, just until eight o'clock. So I have four to eight. You can even put in gaps. So let's say I wanted to have like nine to 11, and then four to eight, I can do that. Or I can click remove. And if I remove all of my, unavail all of my availability, that shows up as unavailable. So once I click save, I have now updated and you will see that I've updated my availability for all of my Mondays. If I wanted to change just a specific date, I'm gonna follow the exact same procedure. I'm gonna click on the day that I want, but this time I'm gonna choose edit date. And this allows me to just change that one particular day. So as you can see here, I have now changed just this one day and it is slightly different than the others. You'll notice a little icon like this in the top right corner. That means that this does not follow the pattern for all of the other days if you did set up a pattern for that. I do wanna bring your attention to just one more thing. When you are editing a specific date, if you know you're going to wanna change the dates for one particular week, for whatever reason, you can set a start and end day. So for example, if I wanted to remove my availability and make myself unavailable from 522 to 525, I could do that all at once and click save. I'm gonna X out because I'm not gonna do that. So I hope that this has helped. If you have any other questions about this, feel free to let me know.